Now to a safety alert for the holiday season should a fire break out in the middle of the night. ABC's Gio Benitez is here with the simple step that could save lives. Gio, good morning. Happy Thanksgiving. Hey, Dan. Happy Thanksgiving to you. What you're about to see is something so many people have never even heard of. Something as simple as closing a door can mean the difference between life and death. And I'll admit, I was amazed when UL put this to the test. This is not a normal house fire. We're with UL, which helps set safety standards for a slew of industries. And now the company is creating a controlled fire to show the importance of closing your bedroom door before you go to sleep. When you can't get out, the most important thing you can do, close that door between you and the fire, could save your life. Alexis King survived the Corpus Christi house fire that killed her parents and brother when she was just 10. The home smoke alarm battery wasn't working. She believes closing her bedroom door saved her life. The door helped me to still have clean air and to really figure out a way to get out. UL relaunching a safety campaign, close before you doze. How much of a difference can it make? We're about to find out. UL built this home to serve as a test facility. You're going to light the house on fire. We're for safety. For safety. It's wired with cameras and sensors to track temperature and gas levels. All the info being fed to this control center so UL can monitor the fire. Two bedrooms will have the doors closed, but the other... And we're going to leave that one open so we get to see the difference. With the Philadelphia Fire Department standing by, I start a fire with a candle on the living room sofa. Let's get out. We return to the control center. So we got our fire wow. in the living room. I mean, you can see how. Oh yeah, you can already see the smoke. smoke. Take a look at the bedroom with the open door. See the smoke beginning. Oh and the heat beginning yeah, yeah, to yeah. Into the bedroom. 275 degrees. Absolutely not survivable. But check out the rooms with the doors closed. The temperatures are much lower. You've got 97 so you got degrees our... in one, 69 in the other. These are the closed door rooms. Very survivable. So there you go. The top of the window came out. After 10 minutes, UL puts the fire out, and we look at the aftermath. Here is the room with the open door. Look at this, we've got the TV melted. Temperatures in the room with the open door reached 500 degrees. The carbon monoxide readings, 6,000 parts per million. An industry standard carbon monoxide alarm would go off at 70. But what a difference in the bedrooms with the doors closed. And Stuffed uh, animals, they're just fine. Beds cleared. I mean, what's incredible is that this door sort of acted like a shield. Exactly what it did. Temperatures only got up to 100, and carbon monoxide levels were 10 times lower than the open room. Every day I wish that my brother would have closed his door, and I hope other people know that they really do need to. And listen, so many of us like to close doors at night without even realizing it's a lifesaver. You know, my grandparents, they actually had a fire, a big fire years ago, but they always slept with their doors closed. And that's why they were able wow. to get out and survive that fire. Wow. That's incredible. So, so w what else do experts recommend to safeguard the home? Listen, this only works if you have a working smoke alarm to know that there's a fire in the first place. Couple that with an escape plan and you've got something to be thankful for. All right. All right. Yeah, like how you tied much. it into the, the, I mean, the day there, Gio. Thank you. <laughs>